only a shooting star. chose Eddie Miller instead of me. He gets airsick in cars. That's why I married you instead of Eddie Miller. I thought for sure I was getting up through this time. This is an engine test over. You get your chance next time. The primary objective of the test. You're damn right I will. You're not going to be the only one in this family to walk on the moon. Think of the bright side of this one. You get to spend your summer with me at space camp. Oh, no. You promised. <laughs> Terrific! I get to play Let's Pretend I'm an Astronaut with a bunch of kids. Hey, these aren't just kids, you know. These are clean cuts, all American kids. Recognize them anywhere. Clean cut, well motivated, all American. Hey! Great boosters! Hey! Turn that down. What? Would you mind turning that down? Okay, okay. No sweat. You going to space camp? No. My father wants space camp, but I want uh, my head examined. But it was worth it for the car, don't you think? Yeah, well, let's hope so. Uh-huh. Yeah. By the way, would you get your ass out of my parking spot? Oh. Yeah, right. Sorry about that. Oh, space-age technology, huh? Mm. Have a good summer. How many times must I say I love you? Oh, you finally understand. Won't you be my forever woman? Try to be your forever man. Try to be your forever man. Rebel man, rebel man. Check that left mag, Dad. It's sticking. Okay. Welcome aboard, campers. I'm Zach Bergstrom, director of Space Camp. We're gonna train you just like NASA trains astronauts. I didn't say real astronauts because it's Space Camp. You are real astronauts. Robert Pickett, purple team. Lonnie Fowler, red team. Catherine Fairley. Catherine Fairley, blue team. Hideo Takamini. Hideo Takamini, blue team. Sergeant? Kevin Donaldson, hey, yellow team. <laughs> Dennis Anderson, you're with the green team. Susan Lang on the green team. Great. How about you? Green. Ricky Powell, you're on the purple team. David Joe, white team. Chris Chu, white team. Okay, everybody. Sandra Johnson, Let's all gather in the rocket park. David Snyder, the other members of your team and your team. 
Four years ago, Space Camp was created not only to provide you with hands-on access to space hardware, but also to teach you how to work together as a team. Hi, I'm Andy Bergstrom. You're an astronaut, first female pilot. Yeah, how did you know that? I've read all about you in the Young Astronauts program. I, I mean, let's see, you were the backup pilot for the first Discovery flight. The coach got it instead? Yeah, I remember. What are you doing here? Hello. And what is your name? Rudy Tyler, ma'am. Spit it out, Rudy. Rudy Tyler, ma'am! I meant the gum, Rudy. You look like a guy with a lot of energy. I'm making you mission specialist number one, equipment function and operation. Oh, wow. Thanks, man. You know, my father told me that when you come to space camp, Rudy, we give you all kind of different... We'll talk about later, okay? Oh, by the way, this is space camp and not the Marine Corps. Yes, ma'am. You can call me Andy. Andy. Hi, Andy. I'm Tish. Tish Ambrose. Yes. So what brings you to space camp, Tish? Well, I did this audit at JPL and radio astronomy. It was unbelievable. I mean, can you imagine an extraterrestrial disc jockey? Like listening to radio waves from space? I mean, like waiting for signs of intelligence? Mm hmm Like I know the feeling. I'm gonna make you mission specialist number two. Communications. Oh, cool. Max, what are you doing here? Checking in for my next mission against the Empire, Your Highness. Your next mission is to haul ass back to junior camp right now. Oh, uh, come on, Andy. I've been at junior two summers running. Don't kick me out. You're just not ready. I am too ready. Okay, one screw up and you're back in the little leagues. Got it? Copy, Rogue Leader. Roger now. Hideo Takamini. Hideo Takamini? Right here. Hideo Takamini? Well, actually, it's pronounced Kevin Donaldson. I don't have a Donaldson. Well. I have one now. Uh, I'm Catherine Fairley, <laughs> and it's an honor to meet you. Sorry. It's OK. OK, I have two positions left, pilot and shuttle commander. Kevin, why don't you tell me why you'd like to be shuttle commander? I uh, wouldn't. No. Actually, I was thinking more along the lines of mission regent or um, sovereign, maybe? Something like that. Mm. Mm. Catherine, what about you? I know a lot about the space program, and I'm going into the Air Force Academy. Mm-hmm. And I want to be the first female shuttle commander. You think that's more important than pilot? Oh, yeah. It's OK. Uh, you can let her have it, because I, I, I don't really care. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, now that you're shuttle commander, you're going to have to start to care, aren't you, Kevin? Yes, Catherine, you can be pilot. But... Pilot. This is a mock-up of the cargo bay and the storage pallets. That arm is the remote manipulator system. It can be used for repairs and to link up with satellites or other vehicles. This is a zero-gravity chair. It rides on a cushion of air, which creates the feeling of weightlessness you would encounter when you leave the Earth's atmosphere. Come on, Max. Oh, I mean, this is like the greatest thing since the X-Wing fighter. This is the shuttle simulator, which you're going to learn to fly at speeds of up to Mach 25. I know it looks complicated now, but when you get the basics down, it's real easy. In fact, the computer does most of the work. Now, the first lesson I want to teach you is... Oh! Why 
I won't touch anything until I know how to use it. Hi, Rudy. Tyler. Right. Yeah, Rudy. Is everybody okay? This is the Mercury Sigma 7. When they were building these capsules, the astronauts demanded the engineers create a way for them to be able to pilot the capsule back through the re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere. Otherwise, they would feel like the monkeys in the ah. What the hell was that? <laughs> Prototype maintenance droid. NASA built them for the space station. When's he going up? He's not. They blew it on his shielding. His chips become unpredictable in about two hours. He's such a complex piece of machinery, NASA hasn't been able to iron out all the bugs. So he helps out here and at Kennedy. James! He's <laughs> a midget extraterrestrial! <laughs> no, he's the world's only $27 million handyman. Where the hell is that ratchet? In your hand. <laughs> <laughs> he's also quite literal. Okay, we've all met Jinx. Let's get going. Max. Come on. First stage separation before it gets into work. Dennis, I got you. Manual. How many pounds of thrust does the shuttle produce at liftoff? 6,981,400. How'd you know? How in the world she know all that? You know, that Kevin is a real babe. He's a jerk. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. He's completely unserious. Did you check out the size of his hands? Earth to Catherine, come in, please. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out how to run this thing. See. What, multi-axis trainer? Mm-hmm. It's one of the toughest parts of the training. It's scary for a pilot. You know anything about it? Three concentric circles spinning in different directions simultaneously. Object to stabilize from central point, utilizing hand controls. You want a piece? How'd you know all that? I remember everything I read. It's a real drag sometimes. When my mind gets totally cleathered. What'd you get on your SATs? 800s. You ever, like, talk about anything aside from learning things? You know, you're real pretty. Kind of understated. <laughs> but you got great eyes. You know, I could do this great makeup job on you. Guys go for eyes. Kind of. <laughs> Guys go for what I haven't got. Makeup's not gonna help. Thanks so much. What's your essay gonna be about? Why? I'm gonna be the first female shuttle commander. <laughs> That's gonna go down real big. And you'll get a kick out of that. <laughs> What's yours gonna be about? I'm gonna do. I want to go into space to contact life forms that exist on chemicals other than carbon and oxygen. You should visit my high school. <laughs> <laughs> So, so we struck this deal. Like, he got me to space camp, and I got me a Jeep. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing here? I want to be the first guy to have a fast food franchise in space. Rudy T's. Are you serious? Yeah. Some guy in the space station is going to get a Big Mac attack. Rudy T's going to be there. Uh-huh. So, so, uh, that's why you're here? Well... I like learning. Some guys in my school, I say, yo, Rudy, man, how come you taking science? You don't need to be taking science, man. They don't ask me if I like science. Do you like science? Yeah, I love science. Now ask me if I'm any good at it. That's so hot, huh? Some things I just can't figure out. 
It's a bummer, man. <laughs> My philosophy is to sleep late, drive fast, and not take any of this shit seriously. Straight up. Hey, what's going on? This kid's got this thing in there. Yeah, we just want to see Why it. Why don't you evaporate laser brain? Yeah, I'll give hey, you laser Hey, lay off the kids. Take a look. Wow, look at that. Holy shit. Shit. Solid waste aboard space station can be handled in one of two ways. Jinx! First, Jinx! And sterilized. Cancel! Okay, get down. Wow. What is it? What's it do? Anything you ask him to. Sure moves slow. Hey, yo, Jinx, shake a leg. Don't do that! All right. Oh, man, you mean he literally does what he's told. Hey, Jinx, move over here, buddy. All right, Jinx. Wait, wait, stop this! Don't do it! Don't do it! Sorry, kid. Servos activating. Sensor generators are okay. Image analysis are clean. Hold on now, Jinx. Don't worry. Be okay. You're here with your buddy, Max. And when I'm done with you, you'll be as good as now. Yo, Jinx. Yo, Jinx! Yo! your monkey clothes. They ought to be zapped. Hey, where are you going? Turn up! Stop it! There you go again. I have to take everything so literally. How else should I take it? No, no, Jinx, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, you'll be okay. You know, By the time you leave space camp, you will know the function of every circuit on the shuttle. You may never get the chance to fly in it, but it won't be because you don't know how. If you ever get to be astronauts, you're going to thank us for making you wear these jumpsuits because they provide ease of movement and additional storage space in orbit. The cushions of air the zero gravity chair rides on helps you simulate the weightlessness you'd experience during EVA, extravehicular 
your activity. That's the work you'd be doing outside the shuttle. To work in space, you have to know how to move it. Don't push off, Tish. Nothing will stop you unless you're acted upon by an outside force. Catherine, it's your job as pilot to monitor all the onboard systems and feed that data to Kevin, who, as commander, is in charge of the orbiter. You can suit up in your EMU in five minutes, Rudy, once you get the hang of it. EMU, that's extravehicular mobility unit. You're gonna need it to do any activity in the vacuum of space. Catherine, give me the coordinates of the space station at 0100 hours. You have to call up whatever information I ask for in a moment. Split-second decisions are essential. You're traveling at 17,000 miles an hour. There is no room for error. You'll find your spacesuit stored in the airlock. You're on your own there when you depressurize as you prepare to move from the cabin environment into the cargo bay. Okay, Catherine, now it's your turn in the multi-axis trainer. This is one of the most critical tasks to master. Especially if you want to achieve top ranking here as a shuttle pilot. Secure? Okay, you have 30 seconds to stabilize. You go. 30 seconds. All right, start it up. The shuttle is spinning when it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. The astronaut has just seconds to stabilize, or he might enter a flat spin. Keep your head centered. Don't turn it right or left. Push your stick forward. I got it. 15 seconds. You're yawing to the right. Turn it left. Go right, right. Come on, you can... Come on, Catherine. You're not a passenger. You're a pilot. Fly it. I'm trying. Why'd you stop? I would have gotten in another minute. Another minute, you would have been burnt up on the entry. Come on and get out. We're running late. Andy, I can do it. You're just not giving me a chance. All right. Five minutes. But that's all. Come on, Kevin. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to strap yourselves into our orbital huh? exercise. Rudy, you want to go first? Yeah, yeah. A microgravity yeah. environment is the equivalent of long degrees, causing heart No, um, I wouldn't let Andy get to you like that. You're going to please her if I spent the rest of my life trying. Well, why do you want to please anybody but yourself? Uh, I'm not an expert, but, uh, it seems to me that you just, if you just eased up on the thing, you, you, you could handle it, you know, you're just, you're just trying too hard. Maybe we have something in common. You know, there's this uh, full moon tonight. Wait, you turn into a werewolf or something like that? No, but uh, I know this great place where we could check the shuttle out. Caught breaking curfew. No way. Well, um, if I, if I can handle that, here you go. Say, Max, you got a minute? Now, you've been coming here for a couple of years, right? Um, what's the best way to get to the beach? You gonna ask him? Shh. Distract and destroy the Imperial Guard. Um, got ten seconds. All right, uh, what would, uh, what would, uh, Luke Skywalker do? How would he get to the launch pad? Kid's gonna go for the droid. Yo, Jinx. Yo, Max. Jinx. What's the best way to the launch pad? 
Go out to main gate, go to highway, turn left. <laughs> that, um, that takes me right by Zach Bergsman's <laughs> office. There's got to be some... Is there another way to launch patches? A secret way? Secret! Turn left before Zach's office, turn right at Rocket Park, avoid maintenance building, go east, depending on ground speed, beach can be reached between 5 minutes, go on, 7 talks. seconds, and 15 minutes, 12 seconds. <laughs> Sisters. Oh, yeah? So beautiful up there. I wish it was like that down here. So, uh, you're really into the space stuff, huh? Yeah. Ever since I was a little girl. Yeah? Yeah. My dad used to take me up in his plane and hold me on his lap. Sometimes at night, I used to reach out and try to touch the stars. I couldn't wait to grow up. Uh, what's so, um, what's so special about going up? In space, anything is possible. <laughs> I mean, maybe we could even do things right up there. I don't know. Instead of screwing them up like we have down here. Yeah, but, um, what's the point? I mean, we're all gonna get nuked anyway. Kevin, that's just an excuse for people who are afraid to try. <laughs> hold it, hold it, one second here. It's not that I'm afraid to try. It's just that, uh, I don't know. I just don't care, I guess. Yes, you do. Oh, I do, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just that it's easier to say you don't care than it is to try. And fail. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll never tell. Torture me, kill me, I'll still never tell. Fess up. Where's Kevin? I just gonna get it. Catherine's gone, too. All right. Where are Kevin and Catherine? Kevin and Catherine are at launch pad. It is a secret. Jeez! Max! Let's go. You cleared it. Yeah, well, I kind of cleared it. Yeah, kind of. Ah, shit. I'll just be a minute. We were just talking. That's not the point, and you know it. Nobody cares about space camp more than I do. And you've been on my case since day one. Why? The 
first time I met you, I saw it in your eyes. It was like looking in a mirror. You're special, Catherine. Why are you so hard on me? Because someday you're going up. The only way you will is if you have every drill down better than everyone else. There's no room for mistakes. Every I dotted, every T crossed. That's the way I learned it. That's the way you'll learn it. You copy? Talked. It wasn't me, Han Solo. Damper got information out of Jinx. <sighs> Max, I'm not Han Solo, okay? And you're not Luke Skywalker. There's no empire, and there's no force, and there's no dark side, okay? You're just an ordinary kid, and so am I, and maybe nobody ever lives happily ever after, all right? So just, just stay away from me. Far away. in space. Hello, Jinx. How can NASA help you? Put Max in space. There is no Max listed in astronaut program. There is now. How come I have to do all the dangerous stuff? Somehow, I don't think that's gonna make him feel any better. <laughs> um, range scale at orbit on primary. Roger, primary and secondary. Okay. Um, and our Ohms 1 burn program pilot. Roger, Ohms 1, Commander. Stand by, pilot. 
Atlantis, this is Control. We have orbit confirmed. One, two, five nautical miles. Inclination of 35 degrees. You are in position for satellite recovery. Good, man. You're on. Rudy's the best on the ERMS. Uh, Don't worry about a thing, Max. So Rudy knows this arm like the back of his hand. Oh, oh, sorry, Rudy. Nice. I didn't know oh, you were there. Come on. I almost dropped Max. Rudy! Instigate emergency power loss scenario. Killing power, sir. <laughs> Somebody get me down from here or I'm gonna be sick! <laughs> Rude, relax, man, you're freaking out. Get me down from here! Control, this is Atlantis. Uh, we're experiencing electrical failure, switching to auxiliary cells. Oh, That's my decision, not yours, oh, okay? Wait, wait, it's that one. I know, it's right here. It's the green one right next to the red. Oh. Rudy, what are you doing? I think that was the wrong one. I got it right now. Here you go. Help! Oh. Oh. Rudy, just crosswire. Hey, sit down. Oh, just sit, down. Hey, sit down. That's an order. I got this. This one right there. Right. Oh. Forget it. Well, just sit down. I can handle it. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> what the hell is going on in there? We're showing another Ohm's burn. Yeah, well, the pilot must have hit the switch when she got up. Yeah. Okay. Why isn't she at her post? Well, she's just too busy doing everybody else's job. Orbit's decaying, shuttle. Okay, take over, Commander. Hey, it's not my job, man. I mean, you like the pilot to do that question. I'm sick and tired of doing no more in my window, man. You're falling out of orbit, Atlantis. You're coming up on atmospheric interface. You're gonna be toast. Wow! My God! Careful, Danger. a lot of live stuff. The wrong one. It's not the <laughs> Pilot, do you copy? Pilot. I'm sorry, Catherine's not in right now. But if you'd like to leave your name and number at the tone, she'd be glad to get back to you. You're coming up on Interface, Atlantis. Right of that, Atlantis. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please return your seats and tray tables to their full upright positions and extinguish all smoking material. As we're about to land in the red zone. Ah, no survivors! Captain, we're not going to fuck if you just listen to me. Okay, yes, 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 right. Stop it! I'm sorry, but Rudy was... Yeah, Rudy! Rudy. I don't want to hear about it. I can't hear it. You know why? Because you're all dead. You just disintegrated during re-entry. Huh? Don't you understand what that means? You're all dead because you didn't work together as a team. And you're responsible. Me? That's right, you. Your shuttle commander. That means you are responsible for everything that happens on this ship. I didn't ask to be responsible, remember? It's a pitiful excuse for killing four people. Oh. oh, God. I don't believe this. Look, nobody got killed, okay? I mean, it's just space camp. Launch possibilities. What are possibilities of launching Max into space? There is no possibility at this time. This is not going to be easy. Hello, Commander Bergstrom. Well, hi, you two. How are you doing? What's a FIRF? F that's F-R-F. <laughs> Flight readiness firing. That's how NASA tests the main engines of the shuttle. Uh, this is the first year we got permission for you guys to experience it. And some of you are even going to be able to sit in this. From an astronaut's point of view. See ya. Engine test. Jinx must be ready Thursday, 4 p.m.
Max on shuttle during engine test. How do we change engine test into liftoff? Define thermal curtain failure. Why launch? If you do not find the second booster at launch, the shuttle will lift off and crash. That is unacceptable. To avoid worst case scenario, second booster must be ignited. Result perfect launch. Thermal curtain failure possibilities. One thermal curtain failure every 4.9 million years. Max won't live that long. Max needs thermal curtain failure. Max and Jinx. Friends. Forever. I can't believe our luck. We get to sit inside this shuttle. Firing of three main engines aboard Atlantis. At this time, the orbiter test conducted. Pretty cool, huh? The verification yeah, of the yeah, yeah. program is on target. It must be about 4 o'clock p.m. ignition of the You alright? Yeah. You heard okay. this a few minutes ago. The Lockheed yeah, test director briefing the test. I can't team. believe our luck. Countdown cutoff procedure. Just holler. Okay. Roger, Commander. All on the laser guns. May the force be with you. Please put on your helmets and make sure that your headsets are plugged in. Pilot, Commander, unstow cue cards. Roger. Cue cards. Right. APU fuel. And right RSC crossfeed. Is everybody set? Roger. Roger. Kevin, look at that. Bunch of numbers to me. <laughs> control, this is Atlantis. Do you copy? Roger, Atlantis. This is launch control. Radio check over. Solid rocket boosters A and B, ignition off. Stand by for main engine test. Stand by. Atlantis, do you copy? She's all yours. Um, go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah. Come on, we answered him now. Control, this is Atlantis. Uh, radio check satisfactory. Over. Stand by for FRF ignition. Counting down. T minus 10. 
on booster B. Temperature? 1,200 degrees to climbing. Get that thing operational. The thermal curtain is failing. Permanent to test. We're past shutdown temperature. We can't stop it. We have thermal curtain failure. What does that mean? Andy! Booster B, temperature is critical. Catherine, get out of there now! Andy, make them stop. Make, make them turn it off. The time. Booster B is near ignition. It's going to light. My booster aid, goddammit, launch us so we're gonna explode! What's happening? Please, Andy! Oh, no! Grab her, Rudy! Do it. Zach, we're not authorized. Light it or they're gonna die. Ignite booster aid! Five, four, Five. booster ignite. Booster dice on. Rudy, hold on to her! Try it! Go for launch! Now! Light it. Atlantis, you're looking good. Hey. You want to take it? Um, Andy. Jesus Christ, Dad. Uh, guess you're not going to have to wait so long after all. Andy, you're going to have to throttle. Atlantis. This is control. Throttle. Copy control. Main engines at 65%. Catherine! Just hang on! It's three Gs! I know! It's tough! Kevin, you've got to drop the solid boosters. They're on your side. Now arm SRV separation. I don't know which ones! Panel C3. On your right side. Atlantis, you are go for SRV separation. Hit it! Control, this is Atlantis. We have SRV separation. Power. They have SRV set. 
Atlantis, this is Control. Press for Miko. You are go for main engine cutoff. Roger! reads Atlantis at 180 by 33. They're in orbit. I didn't touch a thing, Andy. Honest. I know, Rudy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've achieved orbit. Jesus. Catherine, are you okay? I think so. <laughs> You're floating. Just relax and allow yourself to flow with it. Wow. I could lose a lift off, but this is incredible. Wow. Wait, this is, this is unreal. I feel like I'm flying. You're in space, Kevin. Yes. I can't believe it. <laughs> Max, My feet. are you okay? <laughs> Tell me oh, why. I feel so sick. Die. Yes. We're already dead. It's just like a dream. Kevin, is this incredible or what? You got more guts than me, Rudy. Now is how we get back home. We are going home. Folks, I'm gonna need all your help to get there. Rudy, you and Kevin stowed the aft deck seats. We'll have no voice contact with NASA. Telemetry is still on. See, the safest procedure will be for them to bring us down on auto at the next available window. 
are windows out there? No, it's where we re-enter the Earth's atmosphere at the right time and place so we can land at Edwards Air Force Base. First re-entry for Edwards is in 12 hours. Okay, we just sit tight and we keep everything running till then. In the meantime, I'm gonna check this mother out. This is absolutely unprecedented. I don't know what to tell you, Ray. You know, I gotta give some statement of standing right there. Well, look, all I know is I want that gallery cleared out. If you do me a favor and take those kids back to space camp. Christ, the president has to be told. He'll be back in 12 hours. Ray. How the hell am I supposed to keep a lid on this? People for 500 miles know the shuttle went up. Tell them the truth. We launched my wife and five kids from the space camp. They'll never believe it. What you reading, Jim? Style 555. Zach. Yeah. We had to find an early re-entry. Why? What's the problem? The shuttle wasn't flight ready. They, they won't be alive in 12 hours. One tank of oxygen. Uh, Andy. Yeah? How long will one tank last? 12 hours. That's not enough. We'll need more for re-entry. At least another hour. So what are we gonna do? Re-entry to landing, 14 hours. Estimated oxygen supply, 11 hours, 56 minutes. Max will erase. Probability, 100%. Get Max out of space now. How? NASA is working on the problem. NASA need help. Any suggestions? Daedalus. Of course, Daedalus. Now, if only we could talk to her. She's a good pilot, Zach. She'll think of it. Great. No oxygen was provided for the life support system. What about the propulsion system? We can read the liquid oxygen from there. The propulsion system uses nitrogen tetroxide, Rudy. We want to breathe, not dry clean our lungs. Come on, everybody, let's think. Where are we going to get more oxygen? I could run down in 7-Eleven. Right, Kev. That's it. What's it? You wanna like share this with us? Yep. We're going to Daedalus. The space station. That's right. But isn't it still under construction? Uh-huh. But they already have oxygen storage. Kevin, get in the seat. The rest of you just hang on, prepare for maneuver. We're gonna transfer to another orbit. I just hope we have time. Going for Daedalus Rendezvous, prepare for Ohm's Burn. Oh, Roger. Power up. All right, Kevin, give me a course bearing. Course bearing, right? Um, Kevin, you did this in the simulator. Come on. You faked it in the simulator. Then get out of the seat. Catherine. Hold it. I'll get it and just, just. Out! Catherine, give me a course bearing. O nine or five five nine or. Stand by for Ohms burn. Go for Ohms. Roger. say this rendezvous would be a whole lot easier if we could... Did you do it? It was too difficult. Kate, tell me what you want me to do. 
Max, do I have to do everything for you? <laughs> Got 180 IQ. You can't figure it out? All right, now, Max, very simple, okay? Just like a dentist chair, you know? Like, uh, I'm Mr. Thirsty. I ain't getting you. No, Max, Max, look, don't worry, okay? I mean, it's not like you're using it for much else anyway, you know? Okay, crop in. Don't forget to turn the fan on, okay? Like how you said they had that telemetry stuff mm -hmm. and like they could read all our instruments. Right. Well, I was thinking, or maybe I was just like inspired by the view and all, but whoa, is that India we're coming Tish. up on? What idea? Oh, oh yeah, well, code. The CXT oh. switch? You mean Morse code? Yeah, I read, read a book, a book on, on it once. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Go get on the switches. Good idea, Tish. They've got to hear us. All right, Catherine, I need you to help me get ready. It's time for me to get into the airlock. Oxygen. We've got to have a backup. Okay. Once I'm out there, I'll be gone about 20 minutes. Don't talk any more than you need. And don't move around unless it's absolutely necessary. Here, Andy. Catherine, you're in charge until I get back. This guy who could hold his breath in the water for hours. Nobody could ever figure out exactly how he did it. Well, maybe it wasn't hours, but it sure was a long time. Rudy? That was when uh, I was on the swim team. It was freshman year. He used to do it, too. Hold his breath for hours. Just by thinking about eating french fries. Guess he really got off on eating french fries and, uh... Rudy? You're using up oxygen, man. Yeah. Catherine, do you read me? Roger, Andy. I've entered the cargo bay, and I'm securing the hatch. Check. Kind of make 
makes you miss the good old days at camp, doesn't it? Really? When I'm locked into the MMU, prepare to open the CBDs. Catherine, do you copy? Roger, Andy. Prepare to open CBDs. It's a go for cargo bay doors, Rudy. Cargo bay doors. Activated. I just can't reach them. They're still in their storage modes. I'm gonna have to try it without the MMU. No, tell her not to. She'll have no power, no control. She'll tumble out into space without her jetpack. Where is she? good. I just can't reach it. Well, she has to. Tell her she has to get him. She can't, all right? Make her. She just isn't small enough. Well, I am. You can't go out there. It's a good idea, guys. I am ready. Push it a little bit harder. Double check everything, you guys. Is it in? Yeah. Is this the only suit we could find? It's the best I could do. It's the only one down there. Oh, dish, dish, give me your belt. 
Oh, an excellent idea. Huh? <laughs> what are you going to do with the belt? We are going to make this suit as small as Max so he can fit through <laughs> Dallas. All right, Woo! Maxwell. Woo! Make sure that RMS arm is unlocked and double check everything. Okay. Catherine, mm -hmm. radio check is okay. Oh, say, what about these doors over here, guys? No, 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 it's okay. They have to be able to get back in. Okay, Max, get strapped into the RMS and Rudy will swing you over to Dallas. Roger. Use the force, Luke. Stretch out your feelings. The force is always with you. Look! Go, Max! Man, you do it, Malia. You do it. the way, Max. Now unstrap the tank and pass it over to me. Oh, only one minute left. Okay, Max. I'm gonna take this back to the ship. The sooner you get that second tank, the sooner we can go home. Please keep that arm steady, please. Friend, he's doing the best that he can. I know, but she is trying to load the canisters. Could you guys argue without talking? Well, that's it, campers. All we have left is here in the cabin.
Max. Max. I'm right behind you. I can't stop. Don't worry. I'm not gonna let you get away from me. I'm getting closer. I, I can't stop. Come on. Oh, steady. Reach your hand out. I'm trying to. I'm gonna I get can't you. Reach. You're scared now? Why do your parents get the bill for breaking Daedalus? Forty minutes to re-entry. Look at this, they're cradling the arm. Let's hope there's oxygen on the end of it. cap to the um, the um, blue valve. Which one? There are two. Rudy, remember this is pure oxygen. We make the wrong connection. We're going to be sitting in the middle of a fireball. You must get it right. It's the blue valve next to the to the green. There is no blue one next to a green. No, 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 not green. I, I, I meant yellow. Rudy, we're all gonna be dead before you make up your mind. Oh, Andy, uh, it's the blue valve next to the red. It's the wrong hose. It is not. It's the red one. Will somebody please make a decision? Andy. It's the red one, Andy. I'm telling you, it's the yellow. Now, I've been studying this damn book since I came to camp. Now, I know I'm right. Believe me. Do it, Andy. It's the blue valve next to the yellow valve.
check. We are closing the cargo bay doors. Prepare for DR return. What's going on? Nothing's responding. No. Who's closing the cargo bay doors? Help me. Andy's not in yet. Come on, Andy. Please. Andy. It's NASA. They're bringing us down an auto. Well, make them stop! Come on! I don't have her! Stop the doors! She's not in! Look at Andy. Andy, do you hear us? Window. Prepare for RCS burn. Let's turn around for deceleration. There's a manual override switch here. I saw it. Where is it? Uh, here it is. Oh, but if we override NASA, we'll miss the window. We gotta go now. We can't leave Andy. She'll die. Your maneuver complete. Stand by for Ohm's burn. For DR to burn. Ready for countdown. Ten. Nine seconds. Five. Do something, Catherine. Two seconds. Huh? All right, Moody, open the cargo bay doors. Tish unstilled the medical kit. Max, Max. Yeah. Can you copy? All right, now listen, we're gonna open the doors, bring Andy in, and this time use the foot restraints, okay? Hang in there, buddy. All right, Rude, do it. Now? Take this thing off. Andy? Andy? I'll get her gloves. Let's get her out of the EMU. Good idea. Fish? Transferring to the sleep station. Anything? Oh, nothing. I don't get it. Why would she override auto? And miss the window. How much oxygen do they buy? Not enough to make it to the next window at Edwards. Why? She missed her last chance. What the hell else is going wrong up there? How is she? Uh, I, I think she shattered her arm and uh, a few broken ribs on it. Uh, I don't know, really. So, Kevin, what the hell do we do? Rudy, I don't know. Well, we have got to do something. Christ, I'm not a doctor. I don't know what to do. Look, guys, just get back to your stations, and I'll stay here with Andy. I want to stay with him. I'll stay. I'll stay with Andy, okay? 
you just get back to your stations. We just uh, keep doing what we're doing. Huh? We missed the window. I know. And we don't have enough oxygen to last the primary for Edwards. You did the right thing. Yeah. Great. I think so. And he's part of the crew. You took responsibility for her. Somebody had to. That's what makes a good flight commander. I'm a good pilot. I'm no commander. My mom always says that being Boston and being bossy isn't the same. I'm never gonna see her again, am I? Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> no, sir, there's nothing new here. There's stuff in my mess. Yes, Mr. Preston. We'll stay in touch. The thing we're missing is a miracle. I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Come here. Hey, uh, Kais? Yeah? I got a question. I was looking outside and, um, wondering. Is Edwards the only place where we can land this thing? I don't know, is it? I, I mean, know. it seems that. I remember reading something about the shuttle landing in White Plains or something. White Plains, Rudy, come on. It's in the middle of New York. White Sands. White Sands, New Mexico. Columbia of 82 landed there because the strip at Edwards was too wet. It was a big emergency. Also, if we could make the window to White Sands, we can land there. Tish, get going. Make them hear us. I'm all right. Rudy. I love you. Check out the coordinates, okay? Max, take care of Andy for me. Let's see if we can navigate this bird ourselves, guys. I'm not going to speculate about anything. What about the kids? As soon as I have something to confirm, I will. Jinx Force Max is space. Jinx can get Max back. Jinx Force Max is space. James can get Max back. James put Max in space. How'd you know about Max, James? James and Max friends forever. Jesus Christ. Get that thing out of here. Get secure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe you can help us, unless you got a better idea. Yo! Max! Wait a minute. Jinx, how can you help NASA? D-O-M-E-I-N-D-O-M-E-R-O-M-E-R-O-M-E-R-O-M-E-R-O-M-E-R-O-M-E-R-O-M-E-R-O-M-E-R-O-M-E-R-O-M-E-R-O-M-E-
along now. With me, beat me, take away my charge card. NASA is talking! <laughs> Like now. Holmes burn coming right up. Window coordinates. Tell Andy she's got to slow that thing down to 4800. It's not Andy, Zach. I just got that. Andy's hurt. Some kid named Catherine's flying the bird. 113 by 17. Window coordinates 113 by 17. Roger that. We figured 250 by 19. Well, we weren't that far off. A time parameter 0210. Uh, we have to be at reentry at 0210, and that's in. Uh, in six minutes. Max? Zach wants to know how Andy's doing. Max. Andy. Oh, give me a headset. She wants a headset. She wants a headset? All right. Okay, Andy. Relax. Don't worry about it. We can handle it, okay? Max, you and Andy get strapped in. Hey, get me out of this now. Helium pressure, vapor, ice. Uh, Kevin. You know, I never knew how to do this. I, I don't know. Of course you can do it. No, it's re-entry. Look, look, look. What's the worst thing that can happen? We'll all die, right? No. We're all gonna die if you don't do it, so... Just relax, okay? You're panicked. You're damn right I'm panicked. Okay, fine. That's perfect. I'll do it. All right. Tish? You ever read a book on how to fly this thing? <laughs> okay. I'll do it. So competitive, aren't we? <laughs> okay, team. Put these helmets on and let's do it. Okay, Catherine. Hey. Lock coordinates in. Coordinates locked in. Stand by for Ohm's burn. Okay. 29 seconds and counting. Hey, Max. We're going home. Great. I'm starving. All right, Ohm's burn on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. Interface in two minutes. Re entries in range. Prepare for 180 roll. Standing by. Okay, and uh, go for roll. said you couldn't fly this thing. I think we came around too much. Oh, no, wait a minute. We don't have a minute. What's wrong? What's happening? Look! Catherine, make it stop! Catherine, you're in a flat spin. You've got to concentrate. Coming in out of control. Ionization black on 30 seconds. Tracking's gonna lose him. Coming up on re-entry, we've gotta stabilize. Guys, get strapped in! What happened to the lights? The trainer. Remember the trainer, you can do it. about when it would be your turn. This is it. Do 
you copy? I copy. Reentry angle should be 30 degrees at least. We're at 26. 27, all right, keep going. 28! Ionization blackout. We've lost contact. Watch the readout on the nose attitude indicator. You can fly it, Catherine. Nose at 30 degrees. 29. Come on, just a little bit more. Push it. 30. We're holding. We're burning up. Come on, be there. Don't push it. Ease up on the yard jet. Come on. Come on, keep holding it. We're dead. We didn't make it. No, we made it. I know we did. Gold Stones picked them up. that control. This is Atlantis.